Okay, so we've got a pair of simultaneous equations, and what we notice first of all is the coefficients of the x uh, are the different and the y are different as well. So we need to make them the same. Now I could times the top by 3 and the bottom by 2 to get the x to the same. I'm going to work with the y's, but you'll get the same answer if you do the x's. So I'm going to times the top by 5 and the bottom by 3 to get these y's the same. So what have we got? We've got 10x plus 15y equals 40. And then we've got 9x plus 15y equals, and then uh, what's that going to be? 42. Okay, so with simultaneous equations, we work downwards. And simple rule is if you have the same signs on the coefficients, you subtract. If you have different signs, we add. So looking at this, uh, the, we've got 15y and 15y, they're both positive, so they're the same, so we are going to subtract. And so we've got 10x take away 9x, which is just x. 15y take away 15y is nothing, which is good, because we need it to be. 40 take away 42 is minus 2. So we've got one of our answers. To find the other one, we've got to substitute it into one of the equations. I'm going to pick the top one. So we've got 2 times minus 2 plus 3y equals 8 and I'm going to put my lines in so that's going to be minus 4 plus 3y equals 8 I'm going to add 4 to both sides to get rid of that minus 4 so 3y equals 12 and divide both sides by 3 so we've got y equals 4 okay we can check that by putting it into the second equation so we've got minus 6 plus 20 is 14, which it is, so we know it's correct.